On this episode of the Dr. Tina Show, I'm doing a quick and dirty episode where I'll be talking about is Pilates enough? I get this question often from people because you guys know I love strength training, but I also love Pilates dearly. And I get messages constantly on my social media and in my inbox asking, is Pilates enough? I do Pilates several times a week and I do bar. Is that enough? And while I love Pilates for very different reasons than I love strength training, the answer is no, it is not enough. And I have been my own guinea pig the past few months, and I want to share my story with you quickly on this short episode. So a few months ago, I decided to pull back on my strength training and focus more predominantly on Pilates. I had stepped away from Pilates for many years, and before I left Pilates, I was at a fairly high level. I had a very, not edit that, I had a fairly high level of skill when it came to all the apparatus and not super high, but I had been training for a long time doing one-on-ones with people. So not just in a class, but one-on-one training in Pilates. And I was also doing strength training. And then I stepped away from Pilates for a time and I focused predominantly on strength training for probably just over five or six years. And I found myself in a world of hurt. Honestly, I found myself imbalanced and I found myself dealing with chronic joint issues that just were kind of progressing along the way. And so I went back to Pilates in the hopes that I could regain some of that integrity and those tiny little muscles. That's really what Pilates shines for that I've noticed. And I am a chiropractor as well as a naturopathic physician, you guys. I have a pretty strong background in rehab. So I I speak with some knowledge here. Pilates is very much isometric movements, meaning you're holding the move. So is bar. Bar is hard. <laughs> she incorporates bar in that this uh, studio I go to now, I noticed that some bar gets inco- incorporated into the workouts and they, it is so hard. So I am not discounting any of it. And the Pilates is so hard. I'm taking basic level courses with a bunch of women who are older than me, sometimes by decades, and they are crushing me. So I get it. This stuff is hard. It's isometric, meaning we're holding the moves often, but in Pilates, you're holding and you're moving at the same time. It's hard to explain, but it really tends to dial in those tiny little intrinsic muscles. And I'll give you an example. I used to be able to do a one minute plank, but by the end of that one minute, I was fatigued. Now I can do a one minute plank like it's nothing. That's totally fine for me. I might get a little bit of burning towards the end, but it's a whole different ballgame. And that's just from a few months of doing Pilates regularly, probably two times a week at this studio if I can get in there. And then I do some at home. So I moved away from the strength training as much. I still train with my coach twice a week and We do strength and conditioning, mostly kettlebells, squats, deadlifts, swings, snatches, barbell, not barbell, but like trap bar deadlifts and pretty heavy, as heavy as I can go. And that's a whole different beast. Pull-ups, push-ups, really, you know, kind of military kettlebell stuff. And that is a whole different beast and requires a whole different set of muscles. So here's been my experiment. Not only have I backed away from the strength training a little bit, during these past few months, because I was just trying to see what would happen. Doing a little bit of a, you know, using myself as a bit of a guinea pig here. Interestingly, my strength has not declined hardly at all. A little bit. I'm not able to bust out as many reps. So I am going backwards a tiny bit. And this past month specifically for almost the entire month, I think actually the whole entirety of February, I did not strength train once. I only did Pilates for a good 10 or more days of that, I was on vacation in Hawaii. So I did nothing but walking and I did absolutely no strength training during this past month. And I just trained today. So this is why I'm recording this. I just trained today with my coach and he was quite impressed with the fact that I still had maintained quite a bit of strength. And while I couldn't do as many pull-ups, everything else was on track. Everything else was solid and good. I actually felt more stable because I'd given my body a rest, which I think is good to do once in a while. And I was able to pull off what I needed to pull off. Now, Tuesday, we're going to deadlift. And I'm wondering if my deadlift strength has declined at all, but we'll see. Usually a rest for a short amount of time can be really therapeutic and you don't often lose strength the way that you would think. You might for a second and then you get it back pretty quickly because our muscles remember what to do if they're trained well. 
So what changed? What was different? I completely lost my butt. My glutes are gone. Gone, you guys. Flat old lady butt. Not pretty. Not good. This is something I strive to never have. <laughs> so my cute butt is gone. I have a perky butt and kettlebell swings and deadlifts and squats usually keep it great. And I have been complimented and told many times that I have a better butt than most 25 year olds. And this is coming from men and women of all different ages. So it's not, and, and not in a sexual way, guys, just, I, ha I have taken pride in my butt. My legs are skinnier. Any quad development I had is gone, but I'm not a quad heavy girl. Like my quads are always kind of puny. So my quads are gone. My butt's gone. Um, my arms are thinner and I think a little bit flabbier, to be honest with you. Maybe that's just because the muscle that was there has shrunk a bit. I haven't tested my deadlifts, like I said, and I haven't tested my push ups. But all that to say, I felt way stronger today than I have in a while when it came to doing Turkish get ups, which require a lot of control. My planks were solid. I was able to pike and maintain that position decently well during my pull ups. So I think that I've gained some benefit, but I've also lost muscle mass. Now, interestingly, I track myself with a BIA and that's a basically a body composition monitor of sorts. And I have not lost any muscle according to that scale. And it's a high level one. I mean, it's not like an in-body level, but it's a decently good one. And it's a home unit. Uh, and I haven't lost a lick of muscle according to that. I have lost fat and I have lost visceral fat, but I have not lost any muscle. Now I am on a tiny microdose of trisepatide and I haven't been on that for the past mostly month either. So, cause I cycle again, I don't want to get into dosing about the GLP ones, you guys, that's inside my course that you can come join when I open it next time. I just opened a cohort. It's awesome. We've got like almost a hundred people in there and it's going to be so fun this round and you're welcome to join next round. I'll make sure that you get the notice. You guys can grab my GLP one mini email course that is in the show notes. I'll get you the link there. And then once you join that, you'll be on the list to be notified when the free video training and then the program opens up again. We just ran through that. It was awesome. Anyway, back to my Pilates and strength training. They're totally different beasts. So strength training is concentric movements where you contract the muscle and eccentric where you elongate under load. And Pilates is very isometric. There is some concentric and eccentric, but it's very isometric while you're going through concentric and eccentric, which is hard to explain, but when you're doing it, you feel it and it's hard. So no, I don't think they're the same thing and I don't think they accomplish the same goals. I want to do both. I want to incorporate both into my routine. Now I have, I'm, I'm 50, I have psoriatic arthritis and I can't overdo it. There's a Goldilocks spot for my activity level. If I go past that, I tend to get into pain. So for me, two days a week of Pilates and two days a week of strength training is enough. And then I plan on adding that third day of strength training back in where I just hammer my glutes. Like I just, it's all glutes that day. I don't do anything else, but really hone in on glute building. So that's it. That's my take on it. If you are just doing Pilates, I think you probably could benefit from incorporating strength training. And it's a totally different beast. It uses very different muscles and it brings you different benefits, including your central nervous system, guys. That's a whole other conversation, but the impact of both of those ex types of exercise on your central nervous system feel very different to me and both beneficial. And if you're just strength training, I would highly encourage you to incorporate something that gives you some better control. I'm going to actually invite my Pilates instructor on to do a podcast because I love the way she explains it and she can do a better job than I. So I'll save it for that. But you really want to learn to control before you start going through mobility. And I see a lot of people strength training who don't have any control. And that's very dangerous. And you end up sort of hinging on joints that are compromised already. And it's a big mess waiting to happen. So I think both, whether that be Pilates and yoga that you're incorporating into your strength training, or whether you're just doing Pilates and you want to incorporate some strength training, I think both. That's my opinion. That's my advice. And I hope that's helpful to you guys. So we'll be back next week. Thanks so much for listening to the Dr. Tina show or watching us on YouTube. If you haven't come over to YouTube yet, please check us out there. We've got a ton of episodes up. My team has been working really hard and getting everything up there for you. We've got shorts, we've got medium length videos, which are just short little vignettes from the longer episodes. And you can check it all out over there. And we would love to have you subscribe there as well. So we will see you next time. 